big day for Servotech Renewable as uh, I'm being joined by Mr. Raman Bhatia. Uh, and sir, many thanks for speaking to NDTV Profit. First off, uh, we're welcoming Mr. Erol Musk uh, here to India. He's joined uh, the company as uh, an advisory board member uh, on a global level and he'll be uh, kind of helping you pave the way to take Servotech Renewable to the next step as well. Uh, first off, uh, how did your paths cross with Mr. Erol Musk and uh, a few thoughts on uh, him joining the advisory board as well? Yeah, uh, we met uh, in uh, UAE and uh, we found that uh, uh, we can uh, uh, do so many things uh, together because they have very good hold in African countries and uh, US. So, and he was also uh, inspired uh, about the journey of Servotech. So we both think ki how we can uh, go forward as a, together as a team. And uh, then uh, I asked him, ki, sir, can you help us uh, to exp expand globally? Then he told me, yes, uh, I can support you. Then we have uh, uh, find out the way how to go forward. And uh, today we are here. Uh, so your thoughts and what was your interest and the role that you have taken on uh, as a global advisory member for Servotech Renewable? Uh, how did that come about and uh, what are your thoughts on India's renewable energy sector also? If you could talk about that. Well, um, I am an electrical engineer and uh, the work that Servotech is doing is of great interest to me. It's a field that uh, they've gone specifically into that is blossoming all over the world mm -hmm. uh, more more because of need than, than anything else you know to save electricity and not let any electricity go to waste and they are experts in that field and uh, through gentlemen I met in um, uh, Dubai um, Yude Singh and so on uh, they introduced me to Servitech and then we started talking and uh, one thing led to another mm -hmm. and uh, so here we are but this is a worldwide undertaking by many, many companies and corporations. And uh, it's my impression that uh, Servotech will uh, be one of the big ones in, uh, very shortly in the world. Yes. Right. Mr. Raman, if you could talk about the rationale uh, behind getting Mr. Erol Musk. As I said, you want to take it to the next level with him on the board now. Uh, if you could kind of... Uh, list out what are the next few milestones that you want to achieve uh, with him in uh, on the board now of Servotech Renewable? Uh, I just wanted to add, uh, if you are aware about uh, India, now according to Prime Minister, every uh, year it is a, there is a one Nara that is make in India. You understand? Mm -hmm. Now, because uh, uh, in last uh, few days, we become uh, top uh, one, one of the top four uh, economy in the world. Right? Uh, so, now, so many countries are following us, the same. Now, they are all are thinking about making their country, like making GCC, making Turkey, making uh, South Africa, making n number of countries, right? They all are thinking about that. So, what we are thinking, ki because we have developed the technology and the uh, scalability in India, because we, we are uh, biggest uh, country, uh, uh, in comparative to these countries. So we, are, we can easily uh, deploy our technology, our uh, manufacturing processes, and we can, we can uh, do so many alliances to serve them, and uh, we can become a global. So we are thinking ki how we can tap more than 40 to 50 countries in the next four or five years. That is a major agenda. 40, uh, to, 50 40 to 50 countries. Uh, so your thoughts on expanding to the next level, 40 to 50 countries, is what Servotech Renewable uh, is looking at in terms of ramping up their business. Uh, your thoughts on that? Well, you know, any business that's successful yeah. wants to, to it, it, it's a natural thing to want to go as far as you can with it. Mm -hmm. And that's what uh, I want to say. Uh, you know, the possibilities are there to uh, provide, actually help in this field all, all over the world. Why not? It's a problem everywhere. So it's not, not as though there's no market. The market is everywhere, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. 
as far as uh, your visit to India is concerned, uh, I believe you will be looking at uh, the manufacturing unit uh, or uh, visit the factory of Servotec Renewable also. Uh, what's on the itinerary so far? Uh, first of all, uh, uh, when once uh, I, I I think ki when uh, two person met in life, so first thing is ki how much we uh, have a confidence on that person that is okay. But when you want to go forward, then you have to understand ki is there any ecosystem who can support that particular person. So I think it is very uh, much uh, uh, important ki they have to visit us. They have to understand what is our uh, backend, what is our support system, what is our ecosystem. Once they go through, so probably they will also help us ki where we are lacking. Uh, is it ready for the globe or not? So that is very important. It is the first step, I think. So that's why we plan. They have to be here. Uh, now, today, this is a press and uh, complete event as on uh, today. Tomorrow, we are planning uh, to visit a factory. Then uh, so many different plans. So till 6th, he is here. So we are having so many plans. So I believe you are also uh, likely to meet few of the government officials and uh, take a look at the Servotec Renewable Factory as well. Uh, looking forward to it. Of course. Hmm. <laughs> so uh, uh, any meetings with the ministries and uh, probably exploring how you can work with the government to uh, kind of ramp up the business as well? Ministries, uh, no. ministries are not. Uh, we are not so much keen about the ministries as on, as of now because uh, it is a one to one, and uh, uh, we are uh, we don't require any support at this stage from the ministries. So few ministers or joint secretaries or secretaries are interested to meet. That we are doing, but we are not uh, uh, pushing so much hard uh, uh, to involve in any ministry right now. So one final question to you. India has now reached the fourth spot as far as um, the economy is concerned. How do you see renewable energy as a sector contributing to this kind of growth and giving a fillip to uh, India reaching that fourth spot? Well, you know, once renew renewable energy systems get to the point where they are, can be a lot better, and they are improving all the time. I mean, obviously, it's going to make everything for everybody in India much easier, you know. Yeah. And uh, cheap power and uh, is is the, is the basis of any economy's success, you know. And I think uh, India's doing pretty well on that score, you know. Yeah. All right, sir. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Raman and Mr. Erol Musk. Uh, thank you for joining us. Well, Elon Musk's visit to India has been much talked about. He may have not been able to make it to India yet, but his parents have been visiting India. And today uh, we have uh, the senior Musk, Mr. Erol Musk, uh, who created uh, Elon Musk, the man, the myth, the legend. Uh, when we say that phrase, uh, to what extent do you think uh, Elon's personality uh, associate, can be associated with that? Well, yes, you know, I mean, they grew up, the boys grew up with me. Uh, their mother and I separated when they were about eight, but we, you know, the boys stayed with me and, uh, you know, I try to put my, give them the values that I believe in. And, um, yeah, so I'm very happy with the way things have turned out today, especially these days you know, in America with Elon helping and working in with people that, to my mind, are applying common sense, you know, yes. So if you if you compare your uh, your business trajectory uh, versus uh, where Elon Musk has taken his own business trajectory, uh, how proud does it make you as a father? Well, you know, um, my business pr trajectory was something like his but his much bigger. So I started out in South Africa in much the same way, in a smaller venue, a smaller place, went along uh, roughly the same tra trajectory that Elon later followed on a much bigger scale in America. So, uh, yeah, so it's, for us it's not as though it's something new. We, we have been sort of doing the kind of thing that he's... The bo my two boys, I have two boys who do the same. They always leave 
tend to talk about Elon, but Kimball as well. Um, they, we, 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 we all carry on doing exactly the same thing since, we, since I started, you know. Uh, for a very long time, like I mentioned, uh, India has been awaiting Elon Musk. Uh, when should we see him uh, coming to India? I, I'm quite surprised that he hasn't been. I'm sh I was quite under the impression that he has been here at least once. But um, if he hasn't, he's making a big mistake. He must come here. Absolutely must come here. Yes. Uh, since NDTV Profit is uh, a business channel, we do focus on, uh, you know, the stock markets. How do you look at the Indian stock markets and uh, any specific sectors that interest you? Well, I have been asking around and trying to find out about the circumstances here. From what I can see, India is on the verge of a booming economy, you know, and um, Delhi is leading the way in, in many, many ways, this city that I'm in now. So um, I think uh, we are in good times, good times, good times for India. So apart from renewable energy, any specific sectors that would interest you if you had to invest in the Indian market? Well, my personal interests are my personal interests are something a little different. I feel that we need to start um, studying intensively gravity, and we need to start intensively studying space-time travel. Of this is our trans.